the Arbor Wilds. The Archdemon might have been a real threat to our army, but it flew off once we turned the tide. It is still out there, however. I wonder what Corypheus plans now. We'll deal with whatever he throws at us. Do not underestimate Corypheus. He is powerful, and you have yet to fight him one on one. But he will come. You will get your chance. If he tries, he'll regret it. I believe you. Not long ago, this was impossible to imagine. You, a valued friend, victory close at hand. The time has come to consider what will come next. You will be the next divine, I assume. That has not happened yet. But it may. If the Maker wills it, then yes, I will answer his call. Blessed are they who stand before the corrupt and the wicked and do not falter. You have come far, my friend. It has been an honor. Where? Oh. How shall I refer to you? Rainier or Blackwall? I've gotten used to Blackwall. Perhaps we could treat it as less of a name and more of a title. Almost like Inquisitor. Reminds me of what I ought to be. Doesn't matter to me. Thank you. Nothing right now. Perhaps in a bit. I guess the hero of River Dane's story finally came to an end. Loghain was the Ferelden ideal, you know, the, the common boy who freed his kingdom and became a Terran. He helped to end the Fifth Blight. The rest aside, that made him a hero. He wasn't the first good man to fall to Corypheus. He won't be the last. This story's no good for heroes. We're taking down Corypheus before he takes any more lives. You know, sometimes when you say shit like that, I almost start to believe it. Oh, Hawk asked me to tell everyone back in Kirkwall where he's going. Baker's breath, Isabella's going to be furious. I'd better write some letters. Excuse me. So, I'm still trying to wrap my mind around this. We went to an elven rune so a witch could consume a pool of magical goo and then walk through a mirror and wound up back here. Have I mentioned that the shit that happens to you is crazy? I don't want to think about this anymore. You want to discuss something normal? The Temple of Mathal sounds truly astounding. I would have liked to have seen it. What will you do with the power of the well once Corypheus is dead? I'm not arrogant enough to think it's my decision alone. Whatever happens, we'll do it together. You think to share your power, to avoid the temptation to misuse it. A noble sentiment, but ultimately a mistake. Why? No, because so. while one selfless man may walk away from the lure of power's corruption, no group has ever done so. I trust my friends. I know that mistake well enough to carve the angles of her face from memory. Why is this so important to you? You have not been what I expected, Inquisitor. You have... impressed me. You must not let false modesty allow you to pass your power to someone else. There are few regrets sharper than watching fools squander what you sacrifice to achieve. Forgive my melancholy. Corypheus has cost us much. The Temple of Methal did not deserve such a fate. The orb he carries, and its stolen power, that, at least, we may still recover. With luck, some of the past may yet survive. We can talk more once Corypheus is dead. I hope so. I cannot believe the Grey Wardens could even conceive of such a plan. To seek out these old gods deliberately in some bizarre attempt to preempt the Blight. Grey Wardens have always been dangerous. They care for nothing beyond stopping the Darkspawn. Like a fair maiden chasing a butterfly off a cliff. Except that if you hadn't stopped them, we'd all have fallen. Those fools and duty. Responsibility is not expertise. Action is not inherently superior to inaction. Forgive me. The entire idea is... unnerving. What happened at the Elven Temple? It's got me thinking. I should go back, shouldn't I? To Tavinta. Once this is done, if 
is still alive. All my talk of how terribly wrong things are back home. But what do I do about it? Nothing. Someone with your impeccable taste could transform to Vinter. I hope you're right. You usually are. It might surprise you to know that you're the one who inspired me. You're shaping the world, for good or ill. How could I aspire to do any less? If it means proving that Tevinter can be better, that there's hope even for my homeland, I would do anything. Marvelous business, the Winter Palace. You saved an empress, and now she's eating out of your hand. Perfect mental image. All this dancing, politics, and murder ah, makes me a bit homesick. Happy to oblige. A taste of home just for you. Not just for me. Fun for the whole family. Perhaps I should have invited some. We were there. That's what counts. I hope you tried the ham they were serving, by the way. Tasted of despair. It's fascinating. I should go. You know where I'll be. <laughs> Inquisitor, I am... I have been thinking. You remember everything now, yes? The explosion at Haven, the Fade, escaping the breach. In your report, you said Justinia was with you. But only you emerged in the end. Why? Why were you the only survivor? She knew it was either her or me. And she wanted me to live. Of course. Of course she did. That's just like her. Her message to me. <laughs> I failed you too. I'm not sure I understand what that means. Did you say anything else? Anything at all? Please, if you remember. Wait. You don't know what she meant either. There are no answers in the fate. Only illusions. A warped mirror. Justinia has never failed me. I was her left hand. Now she's dead. I failed her. Oh, so where the fuck is Liliana at now? Oh. So it's true. Some look to Cassandra or even me as Justinia's successor. I never thought the idea would gain momentum. Of course, with the other candidates out of the picture... Is becoming divine something you really want? When Justinia was alive, I would have laughed at anyone who even suggested that I could be her successor. Things have changed. Still, I don't know. Restoring the Chantry will be like trying to steer a sinking vessel through a storm. Whoever becomes divine will have my support if she requires it. And I'm sure whoever becomes divine will absolutely require the Inquisition's backing. The Chantry is faltering, but it still has influence over the people. Who tells the people what's right? Who do they look to in times of peril? A divine with enough support can change the Chantry. And with it, Thedas. But this is a discussion for later. If Gorypheus wins, finding a new divine will be the least of our problems. A message from Divine Justinia. That's a shock. You all right reading it? Thank you for the concern, Inquisitor. But I am. This message was written months, perhaps even years ago, to be delivered to me if she died. I've heard of such contingency plans. A sudden death often leaves loose ends. I'm to go to Valence, a small village on the Waking Sea. There is something hidden there. Do you know what you're looking for? The Divine was a powerful woman who used her position to obtain all sorts of things. Whatever she hid in Valence would very likely benefit the Inquisition and must be kept from falling into the wrong hands. If I'm lucky, she will have instructions for me. Why hide things in Valence? What's so special about it? Justinia was a revered mother at the Chantry there for many years before she became the Divine. It is a place that holds great meaning for her. I'll help in whatever way I can. Wonderful. 
I was hoping you would agree to come with me to Valence. One more thing. If what is hidden in Valence is as valuable as I think, we're not going to be the only ones looking for it. I shall meet you at the Chantry in Valence. Try not to delay. Where the fuck is Valence? I was pondering who might be divine, and it suddenly occurred to me. Is it so ridiculous for the Grand Clerics to support me? Why shouldn't they? If you were divine, what would you do? Change things. Change everything. No more circles. The mages will be free. The Chantry will accept them as the Maker's children. In fact, it will accept everyone. Elves, dwarves, even Canari. Why exclude them? The Chantry allows our differences to tear us apart, instead of teaching us how we are the same. Oh man, I should have went with her. I, I think you would make up. a good divine. I am glad to hear it. Your support may persuade the Grand Clerics to vote in my favor. Justinia wanted to accept the mages. Our treatment of them made the mess you had to clean up. But perhaps it is not just mages we must accept, but all people. A nice dream, no? It is certainly something worth working for. Uh, but what am I saying? Justinia couldn't find enough support for reform. Why would I fare any better? Perhaps I should stop filling my head with such foolish notions and get back to work. Man, I should have went with her because I know Cassandra's whole... I didn't get the chance to say so earlier, but welcome back to Skyhold. After that terrible journey through the Fade, it must feel good to stand on solid ground again, no? I'm thankful to be back. No one should enter the Fade. And you've done it twice now. Shall I count you fortunate or unfortunate? I'll leave you to your work. You know, on a row, like... I should've, I should've went with her. But it's too late, nigga. What's done is done. And shit happens, so... Uh, but I guess I'm gonna... How the fuck do you even get to that place? In a circle. Alright, right here? Alright, cool. What the fuck happened to Varric shit? Oh... Uh... I don't know what's going on no more, man. Like, god damn. I had that conversation with him, it didn't seem like it went that bad. But his car a little depressing as fuck now. It's just as I remember it. You didn't tell me you'd been here before. After the blight ended, I came here to see Justinia. She was just Dorothea then, a revered mother. Hold up, time out. Uh, I slightly think I remember that name from one of the other games. Fuck it. So where's this hidden treasure? Straight to business. It's why I like you, Inquisitor. Liliana, is that you? Sister Natalie, what are you doing here? I thought you were in Val Rayo. No, I've been here since Justinia died. This place makes me feel like, like she's still with us. Inquisitor, this is Natalie, a trusted friend. Wait, Inquisitor? You, you brought the Inquisitor here? My lord, forgive me for not recognizing you earlier. I wish more people would fail to recognize me. Oh, uh, I see. Natalie, listen, there is something hidden here. Something Justinia left for me. Oh, really? What is it? I don't know, but we'll find it. I'm curious to see what brought us all here. Justinia's letter came with instructions for me. They were a little cryptic. Always remember that faith sprung from a barren branch, that light has no fear of darkness. Above all, that strength lives in an open world. Let's look around. Do they still sing verses from the benedictions every Friday? That canticle was Justina's favorite. Justinia always 
said that compassion was my greatest strength. Doubt is easy. It takes courage to trust. I stare up at the breach sometimes. It's terrifying, but beautiful in its way. It is beautiful. Have you seen it by sunrise? When the sun rises through it, it splits into what looks like a thousand suns, like a broken mirror. Yes, spectacular, isn't it? What was that? Looks like we opened something. Sorry to keep you waiting. Liliana, stop. What are you doing? I'm protecting us. They never sing the benedictions here on Fridays, Natalie. Something so simple. And you got it so wrong. I wanted to believe, but you were lying from the start. Keep that pretty mouth shut if you must, dear. You've already told me everything I need to know. The prickle with burrs on your hem, talking about the sun rising through the breach. It all points to a single place. Morel in the Dells, Grand Cleric Victoire's Bastion. She sent you, didn't she? Victoire was always an opportunist. Who is this Grand Cleric? I've never heard of her. An experienced cleric. She never agreed with Justinia, but kept her ideas to herself. I suppose now, with Justinia dead, she thought she could make her move. I want to know what this Grand Cleric planned here. She sent Natalie here to see what Justinia was hiding, no? The Inquisition has turned Thedas away from the true Chantry. It must be stopped. Stop us? He must be joking. Mother Victoire is well loved by many. The Inquisition has more enemies than you know. And Victoire thinks she can ally with them. Good work. We know the name of our enemy. That's half the battle won. Exactly. Kill me then. I am not afraid to die for my beliefs. At least I still know what I believe. Release her, Leliana. She's no threat. The Grand Cleric? She is one woman. We are the Inquisition. The Inquisitor has spoken. Run. Tell your mistress that she has a choice. The Inquisition is coming. No! This can't be it. There's nothing here. Check again. Perhaps the box itself is a puzzle. She seemed the puzzling sort. No, it's just... it's just an empty box. There's a message carved in the lid. The left hand should lay down her burden. She... she's releasing me. The Divine has a long reach, but it is always her left hand that stretches out. A thousand lies, a thousand deaths. Her commands, but my conscience that bore the consequences. She apologized in the Fade. She said she failed you. This is what she meant. All this time, Justinia carried the fear that she was using me. Just like I'd been used in the past. But Marjolaine's games were trifles. Justinia gambled with the fate of nations. She needed me. No one else could have done what I did. She knows that. Then you have to let it go. Let her go. You don't owe her anything anymore. If it were not for you, I would have killed Natalie and called it a good thing. Thank you for showing me what was right when I couldn't see it for myself. There are things that must be said, but not here. I will see you back at Skyhold. Ain't nothing else in this place. Why the fuck wouldn't they just let me get out then? Whatever. Cause there ain't nothing else. Nothing. Ain't nothing at all. Really? That's what's hot in the streets right now. Fuck it. Oh my god damn you. I wanna finish all these damn inner circle bullshits. But then there's all this other crap that I just haven't managed to get done at all. Apparently, I fucked up Varric. I fucked up Vivian.
Well, yeah, I'm not good at making choices. That's why I don't like making choices in video games. Unless it's just like, oh, get this nigga to join you. Oh, don't get this nigga to join you. I right, then. But not these types of choices. Fuck this. Oh, okay, so there's an exclamation point right here. I appreciate Shit. the warning, but you shouldn't have come yourself. What if the guild found out, or what's his name? Are you worrying for me or for yourself? A little of column A, a little of column B. I am the expendable one, after all. Oh, <laughs> don't worry, I'll protect you. We'll just have to... Well, this is a surprise. Is that Bianca? You're the Inquisitor, right? Bianca Davry, at your service. Mm -hmm. Your name is Bianca. It's a common name. Half the girls in the Merchant's Guild are named Bianca. The other half are named Helga. I lucked out. I take it you're a friend of Varric's. Who isn't a friend of Varric's? You have met him before, right? Any friend of Varric's is welcome here. Be careful saying things like that. Some of his friends you don't want to meet. Oh, maybe you do. Who am I to judge? Bianca's got a lead on where Corypheus got his red lyrium. The site of Bartrand's folly, the tag Varric found, has been leaked. There's a deep roads entrance crawling with strange humans carting out red lyrium by the handful. We need to deal with this. As long as he has this source, Corypheus is that much more powerful. I couldn't agree more. I'll keep an eye on their operation. If you're interested in shutting it down, you've got my help. Try not to leave me waiting too long, Varric. I've got my own work to do, you know. Right. That's not going to be trouble at all. Let me know when you want to head to the entrance. Oh, but first, uh, I guess I want to go do the... What the hell is this entrance to this shit, anyway? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I want to go talk to Liliana. I know where she's always at, so... No, I remember it took me forever to find her last time. Yeah. Like, before... I don't even want to talk about before, yo, when it took me, like, literally hours to find her. Grand Cleric Victoire has offered the Ambassador support for the Inquisition. Ah, Natalie is as persuasive as ever. I'm told that Ambassador Montillier is pleased with the restraint you showed in Valence. Ugh, she's positively beside herself. I will never hear the end of it. Niceness before knives, Liliana. Haven't I always told you? Will that be all, my lady? For now. How have you been feeling since Valence? Good. Wonderful. Valence was something of a rebirth for me. If you hadn't been with me at Valence, I would have killed Natalie. I'd have told you that I didn't have a choice. But there is always a choice. I am more than this. I am more than what Justinia made me. Do you resent Justinia for what she did? How can I when there is so much between us? When she gave her life for peace? No, I believe her intentions were pure. Most intentions are. Does saying all this out loud make you feel any different? Yes, actually. Giving the thought a voice forces me to admit what Justinia did to me. I have to stay true to who I really am, before a spymaster, left hand or bard. I almost lost myself. Word. See? We learning shit. So if we kill Corypheus, he has the power to move from one tainted creature into another? What we will learn next? That he can command the sun to rise or the seas to burn? No matter how powerful he is, there's a way to defeat him. And we'll find it. I hope you're right. I have researchers scouring the Temple of Mythol as we speak. I hope that their search turns up something we can use. Ancient magic, perhaps. Something even Corypheus missed. Anything to give us an edge. I'll leave you to your work. So now I want to go and try to do the rest of this shit for, um, for very Really? It's really a- fuck it, whatever. I don't think there's nothing I can do now to change that shit with fucking, um, Vivian. I got Sol Solace and shit. I mean, not Solace. Uh, fuck. What the hell is this nigga name? The weird nigga. Uh, cold shit all good. I don't know about anybody else. So we going to Valamar. I never thought I was going to come back to the hint of this nigga. I thought I was done, man. But it keep dragging me back in. 
always think about the game, man. So I was trying to end this shit a half hour ago, man. I was just trying to do this bull crap, save it, be done. No, that ain't how it's working tonight. Today. Nigga, it's still morning, yo, and I'm talking about tonight, nigga. It's 11 a.m. Oh, I actually got Varric with me. Fuck the bullshit. Where that nigga at? Damn it. Took, took me too long, yo. I'm rusty. I'll get this one. Where is it? God damn it. Not even in the right direction. Super rusty. Oh, well. We going in. You tell me I've never been in here before? Ain't this a cave I was in like mad early on in the game? We going in? Yeah, I think I have been in here before, yo. Like, that shit, that big ass shit of deep roads, yo, where I was like bashing walls in and shit. But drag me back to the past. I would've get over with my life. Just let me get over with my life. Wait for the goddamn cutscenes to load. I was supposed to get over when I'm stuck in a professional loading screen. Nigga, what if they had loading screens in real life? Finally. I started oh, to I think see. you weren't coming. Nobody said you had to hang out in the creepy cave while you waited. Well, I did wait, so let's make this quick. These idiots are carrying the Red Lyrium out in unprotected containers. We don't want to stick around long enough God to start it. talking to us. If you're coming with us, I hope you can handle a fight. No, I thought I'd cower helplessly while you do all the work. He's a decent shot. Decent? <laughs> you want me to admit you're better than me in front of the Inquisitor? Let's not waste any more time, <coughs> shall we? Alright, Cassandra. Alright, Vivian. Oh yeah, I was like, oh, where the hell's my other motherfucker at? I would have brought Cole with me, but uh, this was Varric shit, so yeah, I was definitely bringing Varric with me. Bitch. Oh my god, yo, they right in front of the entrance, yo. I was like, nigga, why the hell can I get in the door? They weak as fuck, but still, yo. Oh, they all ran out. It was like, fuck that. We ain't fighting this nigga. Like, honestly, yo, the way I look at it is if you have a room attached to your sword that helps you do more damage against dragons. Because of how durable a dragon skin is, man. It, Nigga, because of how durable dragon skin is, if you just so happen to get some crap that could do extra damage against dragons, that sh it should potentially do even more damage against like anybody else. Oh, so what about them? Oh, about them. Yeah, I still had not exactly. I don't know exactly where the hell I'm going, so. I just jumped down here. You had me worried, you know. What did I do now? That letter you sent me about the Red Lyrium was the first I'd heard from you since the Chantry explosion. What the fuck is this shit here? Seriously, if you died in that mess, I'd have come back to Kirkwall and dug you up just to kick your ass. What would you do if I'd been cremated? Kick your ashes, of course. What? I pretty much broke the game and she can't follow me now because I jumped. The fuck is. I built these doors. They probably shut this one from the other side when they heard the ruckus we were making. Ta-da! You've been here often enough to renovate the cave. I've made a few trips down the deep roads in the past. I don't know if Eric's told you, but the Merchant's Guild is cutthroat. Literally. I built the doors to keep rivals from following me down here and arranging accidents. I guess it's a good thing you came along then. I get that a lot. After you. I do. Damn, yo, they right in front of the fuck, dude. Okay, that was a lot of red lyrium, yo. Yeah. What 
the hell was I out of stamina already? Whatever. How is what's his name? Bogdan? He's in Navarra right now, selling my machine to wealthy landowners. I heard some of the guild were trying to get you named a paragon for that contraption. That's not gonna happen, even if I am ten times the Smith Bronca ever was. A surfacer paragon? Never. <laughs> I like setting people on fire, man. It's like a sick fetish in my... It's my big dog. No, I'm just playing. Still, I was be like setting people on fire, though. There ain't no fetishes involved. Oh, shit. But that was ice. I don't know what that had to do with what the hell I was... The point I was trying to make, but yeah, that was ice. The Thing is, yo, Vivian's always also set the freeze crap, so when there's like no more ice sigil shits on the floor, I have no idea who the hell they coming from. Yeah, now I guess no fuss fun. about deep mushroom, kind of like but I times. guess I'm getting it anyway. I don't recall us ever shooting people together. Remember crashing Bartram's guild dinner? We might as well have shot him. This isn't nearly as dangerous as pissing off my brother. And I don't know why the hell I ain't do any of the. Well, I just heard, really heard about the. Well, not heard, but I really paid attention to in the circle shit like later. And I was like, nigga, I barely ever talk to certain people in this game. Like, I really haven't even talked to Cullen like that. It's just been a couple of things with his, um, him using Lyria. There you are. They won't be able to use this entrance again. Bianca. You want to say something, Varric? Andraste ass, Bianca. You're the leak? When I got the location, I went and had a look for myself. And I found the Red Lyrium, and I... studied it. You know what it does to people. I was doing you a favor. You want to know how this stuff works just as much as I do. I just... wanted to figure it out. How did you go from studying Red Lyrium to giving the location to Corypheus? I found out that Red Lyrium... It has the Blight, Varric. Do you know what that means? What? The two deadly things combined to form something super awful? Lyrium is alive. Or something like it. Blight doesn't infect minerals, only animals. I couldn't get any further on my own, so I looked for a Grey Warden Mage. Blight and magical expertise in one, right? And I found this woman, Jonica. She seemed really eager to help with my research. So I gave her a key. Janica? The warden who was trying to control Corypheus? Maker's breath. That's how he survived. I didn't realize until you said you found Red Lyrium at Haven. I came here and, well, then I went to you. That name means something to you, Varric. She was at the Grey Warden prison where we found Corypheus. She was more than a little obsessed with him. You had to know we'd figure out what happened, Bianca. Why did you insist on coming with us? Varric told me what people were doing with the Red Lyrium. I had to help make this right. You couldn't have known what would happen. Mafarath's balls, she couldn't. I told her exactly how bad this shit was. I told her to keep away from it. I know I screwed up, but we did fix it. Yeah, Varric approved when I said it. that. This isn't one of your machines. You can't just replace a part and make everything right. No, but I can try, can't I? Or am I supposed to wallow in my mistakes forever, kicking myself, telling stories of what I should have done? Ha! As if I would tell stories about my own mistakes. Oh, for pity's sake, would you two just get a room? Sorry, Inquisitor. We've done all we can here. Bianca, you'd better get home before someone misses you. Varric. Don't worry about it. Get him killed, and I'll feed you your own eyeballs, Inquisitor. He's not gonna die. Oh. Oh, that was it? Man, I thought we was gonna do more shit, like venture down even further and do some crazy shit, but nah. That's really all they have from me? Yo, fuck this. Fuck it. Just cross the bridge. I don't we should care. Seal the before Mordor won't join us. Wow. 
That nigga dead. That nigga's got my eyes struggling just to get up the damn stairs. Pretty sure I already, yeah. That's what I was saying. I'm pretty sure I already did these rooms, yo, when I originally came in here. We rehearsed the look again, man. Damn. Man, this ain't like before, yo. I remember when I came in here before and I got murdered by this nigga with the axe. Y'all niggas literally ain't in my league no more. They ain't on my level. Well, it would've worked better if I said literally not on my level, but yeah. These niggas is back in here. Oh, yeah. I'll teach you what I learned. I remember this nigga being a giant ass struggle. You ain't no struggle no more, did you? Cause I rate the struggle. Just die, nigga. See? what I tell you? What the hell were they talking about earlier when they told me to sell some shit? Nigga, I'm pretty sure I thought this shit was already sold off. Look, and I'm climbing the ladder. Even though it looked like I could have just used that shit to get right back to the same exact spot, but oh well. God damn. Oh, I'm right back at the fucking entrance. No, nah, son, fuck that. We going back. Cause I saw some shit coming this way, man. That's where I want to go. Oh, I think that's just... Yeah, that's just the fucking stairs, man. Whatever. Still going this way. It's the same... Whatever. I think I'm gonna find anything of use in here, so. More Drake Stone, found the ladder again. So, yeah, that's it. I'm not spending no unnecessary amount of time in here like I originally did. You know what? I'm curious as to what happened to Mother Giselle, but because I talked to somebody and they went and said, oh, she went back to. What's it called? The hitter list. The sun, 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 eh? I went over. Oh, eh? Well, I wasn't going to search the whole damn thing, but they was like, oh, she's somewhere in the Hinoan. She went back to the Hinoan. Like, at one point, she seemed like she was, like, a real important part of the whole thing going on, but niggas haven't seen her for a minute. No need to clear the space. They will all turn away. See, now that's the name for a mission. Well, she. Is this going to change this whole thing or what? I'm glad to have answers, but shit. The second she showed up here, I knew. I just... I let this mess happen. I gave her the tag. I am not good at dealing with shit like this. Quit being evasive, tackle it head on. Sure. You know it took me three years to work up the nerve to confront my brother for trying to kill me? And even then, I couldn't make myself do it without somebody to stand there and hold my hand. If Cassandra hadn't dragged hmm. me here, I'd be in Kirkwall right now, pretending none of this was happening. You know that's not true. You've worked as hard as any of us to stop Corypheus. Is that true? I don't even know anymore. Thank you. For your help back there. After all this, do you think you'll see Bianca again? I always do. Well, she... Alright, shit's still going on with him. There you this are. will become longer than I like. For you. You're just in time. We almost had to start without you. What exactly were you starting without me now? Look who showed up, everybody. Deal him in, would you, Ruffles? I do hope I recall the rules. It's been ages since I've played a game of Wicked Grace. Grab a seat. We're ready to start. Are we playing cards or what? Are three drakes better than a pair of swords? Ugh, I can never remember. Seeker, remember how I said, don't show anyone your hand? That rule includes announcing it to the table. There's a crown on his head, but a sword too. His head didn't want either. Don't talk to the face cards, kid. You seem to have enough people. I have a thousand things to do. Losing money can be both relaxing and habit forming. Give it a try. Curly, if any man in history ever needed a hobby, it's you. Dealer starts. 
Oh, I believe I'll start at... Oh, three coppers. Do you think that's too daring? Maybe I'll make it one. No. Boldness. Three it is. She overthinks it Seriously. too much. Who starts at three coppers? Silver or go home? Sounds good. I'm in. Bolder the better, right? I'm in. Me too. Well, are you in? Of course. Deal me in, Josephine. Oh, wonderful. I'm glad you're joining us. Ante up, Inquisitor. He <laughs> just decided, yo, nigga, we're going to play cards. <laughs> the poor recruit ran out into the dining hall in nothing but his knickers. And this profound silence fell over the hall as 70 mages and 30 templars all turned to stare at once. Then, a slow round of applause began and spread until every soul was on their feet. A standing ovation. <laughs> what, what did he do? Saluted, turned on his heel, and marched out like he was in full armor. <laughs> he did not. Good man. <laughs> You're shitting us. <laughs> That's how you know it's true. I could never put that in a book. Too unlikely. I've got one for you. Firstly, my aunt is known across the free marches for her love of Antivan opera. So, of course, when a performance of the murder of Queen Madrigal opened, she made us all attend. My aunt refused to speak to me for three months. <laughs> Not bad. You don't mind if I steal that one, do you? <laughs> well done. <laughs> you ought to tell stories more often. I like the part with the rabbit. There should be more rabbits in stories. <laughs> <laughs> that was scandalous. It would ruin the Inquisition if anyone found out. Tell it again. And the dealer takes <laughs> everything. I win again. Deal again. Damn. I figured out your tells, Lady Ambassador. Commander. Everyone knows a lady has no tells. Then let's see if your good fortune lasts one more hand. I want another chance to win my dignity back. Deal me in. Don't say a word, dwarf. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to warn you, Curly. You won the whole pot. I knew you could do it, my love. I'm leaving. I don't want to witness our commander's walk of shame back to the barracks. Well, I do. It comes off. I didn't know it came off. <laughs> Nick, I'm leaving too. Fuck that. <laughs> I'm glad you decided to join us tonight. It's too easy to mistake you for the Inquisitor. I enjoyed this. See? That's what I mean. It's easy to forget you're not just an icon or symbol. Like those statues of Andraste holding bowls of fire. A at least it is for me. You up for another game when this is all over, Inquisitor? I wouldn't miss it. Good. It'll take me a while to talk Cullen into it. Maybe I'll work the revenge angle. Who's that? No, Vivian didn't no show up. Hmm. Vivian, the only one that didn't show up because she fucking hate me. Tell me more about Bianca. Hmm. I'm not making any promises here. Ask. What makes the Merchant's Guild such a danger to her? To be fair, it's more of a danger to me. Technically, we're not supposed to be within 300 leagues of one another. If it got back to the guild that we were seen together, they'd freeze my assets and then have me killed. Maybe not in that order. What in the world did you do to cause that? We almost started a clan war. Does it matter? I, I can't change it now. All right, tell me the truth. Bianca made your crossbow, didn't she? I mean, it has her name. Oh, it's not that simple. 
The Carta thinks my Bianca was a freak success by a Carta inventor who could never duplicate it. If they thought anyone else was involved, someone who could make one work, uh, things would be bad. So, I really can't tell the story. I don't want any more blood on my hands. So how long have the two of you been together? Well, if you want to split hairs, we're not. Usually there's a continent between us at all times. We write letters. Now and then we manage to meet up. I don't know if that's uh, together. Shit, it's been, what, 15 years? Great. Now I feel old. Thanks. How do you know Bianca? The lady, I mean, not the crossbow. I met her years ago when she still lived in Kirkwall, and I was looking for someone with uh, mechanical skills. Bianca is, beyond a doubt, the most brilliant smith you'll ever meet. I haven't seen her since she got married and moved to Orlais. Bianca is married? Somehow I thought that the two of you had a history. Bianca's family are Kalna's. Surface dwarves, so conservative they don't take a piss without asking the ancestors first. They picked out a smith cast boy for her. Wealthy, respected, has a great anvil collection. The perfect husband. I heard the wedding was lovely. The one Bianca actually showed up for, anyway. I guess that's it for now. Sure. I'll be here. What the fuck? Something you wanted to talk about? Uh, no. I guess I'm good. Can I ask you something, Barry? You want to talk about me? <laughs> I'm flattered. Also inclined toward extravagant lies. Thanks, Barry. No problem. So is Varric's uh little thing all fine and dandy now? That's really what I want to know. Yup, cool. <laughs> Look all chill and shit now, nigga. Counting money or some shit. So I fucked up with Vivian. Haven't seen shit with Solus. Iron bullshit still the same. Uh, I guess Cassandra shit still look the same. So does Sarah's. Sarah's shit never really fucking changed, yo. It's just been there. A good place to pick. Is there anything you need? Do you have any advice for me? Hmm. It seems that Corypheus searches for elven artifacts. That's hardly surprising. The winter power is based on what those vultures scavenged from the ancient elves. Whatever advantage he hopes to gain, we need to stop him at once. That's enough. That's no advice. Another time, then. Sir. Like, sir, what? Nah, just sir. See, he's Sir Morris. This nigga's just sir. And I guess I'm done for today. Come we the able troop to skyhold now a fortress strong and Thank free. You. We rally with our hero. Sir, have anything? Yup. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh wait, no, I'm not. It's just the funniest, isn't it? That creaky old Abelas in Mythal saying the elves weren't destroyed by Tevinta. An admission that did not come easy. Of course it didn't, because that's Elfy Elves thing, being the sore losers of history. I never hear the end of it. Like being sad makes them better than me. Turns out they're not victims. They're the same as everyone else. Assholes. Plus, a big old temple full of demon worshipping lies. Grand, that. You seem pretty certain. You don't believe anything from Mythar. Of course not. What, I should believe all that stuff? Because elves. I mean, it was impressive and all. Makes the Dalish look like tits for living in the woods, but so what? There can't be a bunch of gods, and the Maker. Don't matter how much or little you believe, those don't fit. So call me stupid, but I believe the stuff not made up by dead people who failed. Mythal is a ruin full of demons. I mean, it just makes sense, right? I'm with you. Everything in that temple was highly suspect. Of course it was. You can't be Herald and think otherwise, yeah? I mean, that would just be daft. So. Main takeaway, we got really weird power and we can throw it at Cariffy whatever. Fighting shite with shite. <coughs> it's like poetry or something, I don't know. Get a bard on that. We should go slap hands yeah. in the tavern. Can't wait, yes, what's sir. That? Is there some concern you have about me becoming a champion? No, there's no concern I have about you becoming champion. I'm worried you'll be an arse. 
You know what they're like. Well, not champions, maybe, but they're rubbing cousins, the chavliers. They're shit. Some people get full of themselves when they think they're better, right? That bunch get it on a flag. It's a standard. That's not better. Why are you worried? What do they do? People to them, little people, aren't anything. Not even slaves, because slaves are worth something, yeah? They want your food, they take your food. They want your wife, they take your wife. They're shit. So please stay better. Damn. I'm not whatever it is you try to pronounce. It's fine. Sure, right. Fine. Everything's fine. Let's keep it that way. Is your network of contacts still active after what happened? After Lord Arsol and Vichelle? Of course. He may have killed people, but that just means there's more who hate him. It's crap that he killed people, though. They were just trying to stand up a little. We annoyed some nobles. Does that really help all that much? Gets you paid, for one. You seem happy enough about that. I don't get what's so hard to understand. <laughs> Your stuff works the same. Your inquisition, I mean. Punch a bully, people like you. Do it because they asked, or let them think they asked. They like it even more. It's inspiring, even if it sometimes goes tits up and they take a hit back. You know, like Haven. Yeah, right. I get it, kind of. We just don't think of what you do as that kind of inspiration. Well, we should take a good hard look at where our people come from. All the same people. At least my baddies are understandable. No kicking in the sky there. We'll talk another time. It's all good, isn't it? Oh shit! See, like I be saying, y'all, I be wanting to leave y'all, and they keep pulling me right back in, man. Another red Jenny operation. Man, I'm just trying to get everybody's alternate cars and shit. Yo, I already know Vivian. Vivian's like, fuck you, nigga. No, I, I don't think that's going to change. I, is that the reason why she's like, the, there oh, damn. I've been looking all over for you. I've just received the most terrible news. What is it? I'm engaged. Fuck that. When did this happen? For the past year, my mother and father have searched Antiva for a match for me. They had no idea you and I had grown so... close. Today, I received a letter declaring they've betrothed me to Lord Adorno Cielo Tranto of Antiva. I must deal with this. But until then, we cannot be seen in a compromising situation. I'm so sorry. I assume your parents have political alliances resting on this engagement. For once, that is something quite far from my mind. Oh, this is not what I wanted to happen. I barely remember Lord Otranto. I must see to this. And to my other duties. If I can keep my mind on them today at all. Inquisitor, I'm afraid untangling my engagement to Lord Otranto will take some time. Is there anything I can do? Is Antifa. The only acceptable thing to do would be to challenge him to a duel for my favor. I don't want to kill the man, but if fighting him to a standstill works, so be it. What? No, Inquisitor, please. That was said in jest. The traditional form of dueling among Antifa nobles isn't usually fatal, but there's always a chance of harm. I hardly wish to see you skewered on a sword point for the sake of my honor. Fuck that, nigga. Yo, I'm fucking this nigga up, yo. Finally, yo, they give me some real nigga shit to do, yo. I wanted to end this, but nah, nigga. Shit, they caught me in a nigga moment with me catching feelings over broad. And then, I'm not. No, nah, yo. No, nah, yo, son. No, fuck. Yo. Nigga, where. No, nah, fuck, fuck this red Jenny shit, nigga. Where the hell is this? Nigga, we dueling, nigga. This ain't no game, nigga. Fuck. Uh, it is a game technically, but nah, nigga, this ain't no game. Got me all fucking pissed off and shit. Like, oh, I'm again. I'm like, nah, nigga. Letters are pouring in from all corners. Congratulations, pledges of loyalty, conversions to Andraste. All pretty much. Nigga, I don't give a fuck, nigga. Yo, you know where my mind at right now, nah, nigga. They got me all hyped and pissed off, nigga. I don't want to be acting like a typical nigga, but nah. Right there? Fuck, nigga. You have no idea, nigga. Nah, fuck that, nigga. We fast traveling over there, yo. That's how serious this shit is right now.
Nigga, I'm gonna fuck you up. I ain't gonna kill you, but I'm gonna fuck you up. Lucky y'all can't use charging bullshit right now, because that's what you're gonna get. Nigga. May I deliver a message from Lord Adorno Cello Tranto Vativa? His lordship accepts your request for a duel for the affection of Lady Montelier. He awaits your pleasure in Val Royal. Tell Lord Otranto I look forward to settling this honorably. At once, Inquisitor. He wishes you a speedy journey to the capital. Nigga, we doing this. Y'all niggas got the game fucked up right now, man. Fuck y'all. As soon as they said that shit, yo, I was like, nah. Don't fuck with me like that. Yo, quit with this low screen bullshit, yo, trying to calm me down, yo. This, I was about to say this nigga about to die, but I said I wouldn't kill him. I'm just gonna fuck him up. Where this nigga at? I am Lord Dotranto Aventiva, rightfully betrothed of Lady Josephine Montillier. Songs of your exploits have spread to my city, Inquisitor. It's humbling to make your acquaintance. I can't control my shit. It is a pity it will not last longer. I can't use my own sword. Before we duel, I trust you find the weapon to your satisfaction. Yeah. Am I not allowed to pick my means of defense? I am the wounded party in this duel. Tradition dictates that I select our weapons. Of course, if you fear you might be clumsy with such a refined instrument, there is no shame in a forfeit. I trust you've made this a fair fight, Lord Otranto. Upon my honor. Shall we begin? An admirable start, Inquisitor. I don't got no one-handed sword skills. Perhaps House Trevelyan isn't the obscure backwater I've heard it to be. I'm glad Lady Montillier isn't here, exquisite as I've heard her appearance to be. It looked like he dominate. Cutting Fuck you this. down in front of Josephine would have given a poor first impression of House Otranto to my bride. Hey, don't worry. I'll be sure to tell Josephine you fought bravely. I admire your fearlessness, but you cannot hope. Stop! She here? Yep. Josephine. Lady Montillier. What a pleasure to... What are you doing? Lord Otranto and what? I are settling our differences about your betrothal. That's not your decision. The Inquisition needs you. I need you. Yet you throw yourself into danger. Why do this? Why risk everything we've built? Why risk your life? Because I love you. You. Yeah. You do? He does? <laughs> Ah, yo, my ribs hurt, yo. Yo. Yes, Joseph. I love you so much. I love you too. Oh. Well fought. Lord Otranto. I'd assumed your liaison with the Inquisitor was an affair of passion or convenience, Lady Montillier. But I'm not fool enough to stand in the way of true affection. The Otrantos regretfully withdraw the terms of our betrothal. Thank you. Do not thank me. I know when I'm outmatched. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> There's too much shit going through my head right now. Aye, aye. First of all, you I know y'all niggas heard the whole time while I'm trying to go into nigga moment to fuck this nigga up because nigga you son you ain't wifing up my wifey. Alright. Josephine. I've never been happier in my life. We're tempting fate with such talk. But neither have I. 
Just do kiss me again. Oh, with that big ass. Why is she first? She always got put a leg up, yo. I know in the other video, yo, when the fucking kiss first happened, y'all ain't hear me mention it before, but so I mentioned it before, bro. My mic wasn't on or some shit. I don't know what the hell was up. But nigga, bro, he's like, you do? He does? <laughs> <laughs> so, that shit was funny as hell, man. Yo, yo, uh. <laughs> yo, my ribs are son. Yo, <laughs> yo, this shit shouldn't be this funny, yo, but nigga. Oh, laying down by the fireplace and shit. I can't stop thinking about your duel in Val Royale. Running into the middle of the crowd, the noise, the swords flashing. I was so worried for you, but at the same time, well, it was the most exciting thing I've seen in ages. I was worried you'd still be angry that I started the duel in the first place. I was only worried for your safety. Your position allows for so little of it. You know, when I first laid eyes on you back at Haven, I hadn't an inkling we'd become so close. Something suggested you were special the moment I saw you. I'm glad it did. These moments seem so dear, especially given your greater calling. Sometimes I must remind myself that I'm required to share you with the rest of the world. The world may want my time, Josephine, but you have my heart. Then I count myself happy, beyond compare. Uh, fuck the rest of the game, nigga. That's how we ended it. <laughs> yeah, I'm just playing. But, yeah. Nigga. The crazy shit to me is, yo, that shit started off as a nigga moment. And then it, I ended up turning into that. I ain't never seen a nigga moment turn into no shit like that. Fuck it. I guess it is what it is, nigga. Oh. Uh, the feelings, Diggy. <laughs> Yo. Oh, shit. Now to get this shit out of the way. I know it wasn't that long ago that I was like, nah, Diggy, I ain't gonna just skip ahead time to get this shit done. But yo, fuck trying to wait for that shit. Yo, I just wanna get all the inner circle shit done and be done for the day. So now we're going back to Sarah again. Which way is she again? She over here, right? I think she over here. Yeah, she in this shit. Like three of these motherfuckers is up in here. I'd like to know more about you, now that you're comfortable. It's embarrassing enough now, may as well. Anything more to say about where you came from, aside from hating cookies there? Dinner in mostly, before running into another Jenny. He was fun. Had weird friends, though. I think some of them were a lot more serious about being serious. Got some of them killed. I suppose they were like family. Better than Lady Emmold ever was. You know why? They didn't give two squirts about who or what you were. It was all what you did. So where are the rest of them? All over. Or they stopped to let new people go all over. Some get rich and stop playing so they can do good things with it. One or two don't. Eventually, someone asked for a favor against them. Don't get like that, you hear? Denerim is a long way from Orlais. How do you get there? By Stinky Horde? Sarah. Denerim wasn't much fun after the blight. Everyone trying to recover, you even feel bad for the nobles. But Val Royaux, that's a fat city full of fat heads. They just don't know when to stop. You saw it. Orlais is rich and stupid. Right, the pickings. So is that who showed you how to fight? Gave you your skills? Nobody gave me anything except a chance. And maybe some lessons to start, but mostly just the chance. I took that and ran. It's nice to see this side of you. Did you trust me? Don't you go blabbing around, yeah? 
Because I'll have a big trusting foot up your pucker. God damn. I think that after our rooftop chat, I get why you're not like other elves. Well, don't. How about we dig into what you are? Or what you're supposed to be? Are you the humanist human? Can someone point and say, that's what they are? Because I'm just me, and I couldn't give a fig. All right. Didn't mean to poke at a sore spot. Consider it dropped. Well, good then, because that's the way I am. This way. You do this with everyone. Because I hope I'm not the only one that squirms like this. Feels weird. We'll talk later. <laughs> if you say so. I can't go off the motherfucking window. Nigga, it's right there. Fuck that. All right. So finally, unless Iron Bull actually got some bullshit hey, to say. That elven redhead who makes the buns in the kitchen. Is she available? Because I'm getting signals. <laughs> yeah, See that's it. All right. And now, finally, after all that fuck shit, I'm done. See you next time, where I guess I'm going to talk to more. Hey, who the fuck is this? Oh, that's a dude. Fuck that. Black out. Black out. Black out. Black out. Black out.